Hi, meet you guys again in the second part of tutorial 1, number 5 till uh, number 8. Okay, simple harmonic motion. Right, so number 5 states that a 0.5 kilogram body performs simple harmonic motion with a frequency of 2 hertz and an amplitude of AMM. Determine the expression of displacement in terms of time. Right. Um, let's highlight the word of expression here. Okay, as we know that the expression of the simple harmonic motion is actually the displacement equals to A sine omega t. So this is how we write the expression, okay, class. Right, so from this general equation, we know that we need to find what is A and what is omega. Okay, fortunately, in our question, we already got A because A is amplitude. Okay, look at here, we've got A, which is AMM. Okay, just only AMM is not in SI unit. So, what we need to do is just convert, convert the AMM to meter. Okay, so we got 0. 0.008 meter. Okay, that's for amplitude. Okay, so uh, we've got the value for amplitude. Now we want to find what's the value for omega. So omega, we need to use the formula 2 pi f. Okay, mm, in the question uh, already given, frequency or f is 2 hertz. Okay, that's why you see in my work. Uh, I put f2 here, so we got omega as 4 pi radian per second. Okay, so this is what I got here. Now, as we already got a and omega, uh, we can write the expression. So, the final expression is x equals to 0 0.008 sine 4 pi t. Okay. This one you will get one mark, but another mark in the exam is when you state this one, okay? Where A in meter and T in second. If you not state this statement, uh, you will lose one mark, okay? I warn you. Right, for 5B, displacement at time is equal to 0 0.2 second. Okay, this equation, uh, what we need to do is substitute 0 0.2 second in the expression that we wrote just now. So, uh, I wrote as x is equal to 0 0.008 sine 4 pi times uh, 0 0.2. Uh, you know, just substitute this one. Substitute 0 0.2 in the equation. Okay. And how do you get 4.7 times 10 to the power of negative, negative 3 meter? Is uh, set your calculator in radian. Okay. Don't forget to set your calculator in radian. Whenever you are in a simple harmonic motion topic, um, before you press your calculator, make sure you set uh, your calculator in radian. Okay, then only you can get uh, the right answer, which is 4.7 times 10 to the power of uh, minus 3 meter. Okay. Okay, for 5C, maximum acceleration. Maximum acceleration is actually the A max equals to a omega square or omega square a okay so we already got omega uh, in the 5a uh, question just now so just uh, substitute all the value in the equation then you will get 1.26 uh, meter per second squared okay this one is um basically a, a, a very uh, straightforward uh, question okay uh, the last one is uh, an acceleration if its displacement is uh, positive 3 mm. Okay, so um, 3 mm is not in SI unit. Um, I always uh, emphasize this in my class. If 
it is not in SI unit. What you need to do is convert convert the unit to SI. So it will be 0.003 meter. Okay. So the displacement uh, 0.03 meter. So um, the formula here is um, is negative omega squared x okay the x here is 0 0.003 meter lah okay omega that is the value that we calculate in five ages now okay so we will get negative 0 0.47 meter per second squared okay that's it right for number six a body of mass 100 gram hangs from a long spiral spring. When pulled down 10 cm uh, below its equilibrium position and released, it vibrates with a period of 2 seconds. Calculate its acceleration when it is 5 cm above the equilibrium position. So let's imagine, uh, let's sketch first. Uh, we have a spiral spring with a mass of 100 gram. So this is my spring here with a uh, mass of 100 gram. Okay. So uh, imagine that the uh, yellow uh, line here is the equilibrium position. So the question said um, the mass is um, pulled down, pulled down. 10 cm below the equilibrium position. So this one is this situation. Pull down 10 cm below the equilibrium position. So this is how uh, we sketch. Okay, and then when we release the spring, uh, this mass will vibrate upward and downward. Lah. Okay, so the question asks for the acceleration here. When the mass is 5 cm above the equilibrium position. Okay, so as we already understand how the situation is, uh, let's calculate. Okay, so the first uh, one is we try to find the omega, which is 2 pi uh, over t. Okay, so here I use the equation of omega is equal to 2 pi over t. Lah. Okay, since we already get the T here, 2 seconds, okay? So, use it to find the uh, omega, okay? So, we got the omega as pi radian per second. Okay, so acceleration, the formula is negative omega squared x, okay? Negative omega squared x. So, we got omega just now, pi just put in the equation, and times with x star. So x here is 5 cm. Cm is not in as a unit. So what we need to do is um, convert it to meter. So we got 0 0.05 meter. Okay. So this is x. We find the question. And this is omega. Uh, we calculate. Okay. So, yeah, substitute all the value and get negative 0.49 meter per second squared. Okay? That's it. Right, for number 7, one end of a tuning fork oscillates in simple harmonic motion of amplitude 0.5 mm and period of oscillation of 0.001 second. Determine A, the maximum acceleration. Okay. Tuning fork actually um, merupakan macam ni lah macam yang saya lukis ni. Tuning fork uh, dia sejenis um, device yang boleh vibrate. Okay. So uh, when it's vibrate, it's execute simple harmonic motion. So for number one, the uh, question asks for the maximum acceleration. So you need to remember, uh, memorize. Uh, A max is equals to a omega squared or omega squared a okay and therefore to answer this question we need to find what is amplitude and what is uh, omega okay um, the question here already state 
the value of mp2 is 0 0.5 mm okay but 0 0.5 mm is not in uh, SI unit so you change it to SI unit lah so you got 0 0.005 meter okay so uh, in order to find the omega we need to calculate uh, using the formula 2 pi f Okay, so that's why you see uh, I try to find F here, uh, 1 over T, so I get F, 1000 Hertz. Okay, after I got F, I found um, the value of Omega, 2 pi F, I times 1000 Hertz is now with 2 pi, so that I got 2000 pi radian per second. Okay, after I got the value of Omega, then only I substitute in the MS formula. Uh, so, the final answer will give you 1.97 times 10 to the power of 4 meter per second squared. Okay. B, uh, the acceleration when the displacement is 0 0.1 mm. Okay. So, uh, the question asks for the acceleration. So, the uh, formula for acceleration is a is equal to negative omega square x okay so x here given uh, is not in meters so we need to change it in meters so times 10 to the power of negative 3 yeah to change it to a meter uh, so that is why uh, i substitute uh, omega as 2000 pi where did i get that 2000 pi in the first question is now in the 7a so i just put 2000 pi uh, radian per second um, squared the omega and then substitute um, 0 0.1 times 10 to the power of uh, minus 3 uh, because we change it to meter okay then only we get negative uh, 3 0.95 times 10 to the power of 3 meter per second squared. Okay. The last one, the question asks for deduce expression. Okay. Um, this question is very common in simple harmonic motion in SHM. Uh, it always asks us to write the expression. Deduce, write, state expression is, is uh, basically the same question. Okay. So, the um, general equation for expression is a sine omega t this one lah okay a sine omega t that's the general equation but we need to substitute what is a and what is omega uh, to get um, our specific expression for this question lah so the a just now is 0 0.5 uh, times 10 to the power of negative 3 where omega is uh, 2000 pi just now okay so this is a and this is omega so we already uh, write the expression here so get one mark another mark if you write this statement where a in meter and t in second if you are not write this uh, sentence here you will lose a mark in final exam so very very uh, silly mistake i want you to avoid that okay so yeah that's all for today uh, see you again in the next video uh, for number 18, number 10. Okay, bye.